Hey guys, it's Isabella. So today I filmed this makeup look for you all. So this whole makeup look was based around my coloured contacts which I'm wearing. It's actually pretty simple to do. I did use a few like palettes. I did say I was just going to use the like Makeup Geek and Morphe individual eyeshadows. I got something on my teeth. But I ended up using the Morphe 35K palette. So before I get into the video, I just want to say I did delete the first part of the video, which was how to do my eyes. This makeup look is really wearable and um, I really liked how it turned out. So the eyes may look a little bit different to the second part of the tutorial, if that makes sense. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching. So if you guys watched the intro you guys would know um, why my face is like this. This is the second time filming my eyes. So I have already done one eye so I could like copy off it because I did use quite a lot of products. So I'm going to just get straight onto it. Um, I'm going to be priming my eyelids using the Rimmel London Match Perfection and I also carved um, I'm also going to be carving out my brows. So what I like to do is just paint my like eyelids like that and then I'll get a concealer brush and I'll like carve my brows out. This is like the first time I've ever filmed like one I already done. It just saves like a lot of time anyway so then I'm just going to blend it out with my concealer buffer brush. To set that down, I just used my Astralis Banana Powder. Um, I've been setting my eyelids like this recently, so I just dip my Beauty Blender in it and just press um, it down. For eyeshadows, I'm gonna be using my, my Morphe and my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. The first shade I'm gonna be taking is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee mixed with Morphe's individual eyeshadow in deep skin. So this is what they both look like and I'm using these as my transition shades. This is another Morphe individual eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Cafe Macchiato. Cafe Macchiato, I think, but that's what it says if you guys can read it, but it's just a little bit more darker, so I'm just going to be um, applying this um, as a transition shade. I use a lot of different eyeshadows and like build up the pigmentation. It also just helps to blend. Like the more eyeshadows, the better. Now taking um, a Makeup Geek eyeshadow called Barcelona Beach, I'm just going to be putting this um, on the outer part of my eyelids. I'm bringing it up into my crease a little bit and then just blend it out. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of make, uh, Morphe's individual eyeshadow in Spice, which is just a nice um, orange shade. I'm just going to be warming it up. This is when I decided I was going to go into my Morphe palette. So I took a mixture of this shade here and this shade here and Blended that through my crease as well. And I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm just going to grab my big Morphe brush and just blend those edges out. I'm also going to be taking um, um, this shade here and putting that in my crease as well. And for the lid shade, I took a mixture of two eyeshadows. So I did actually take an eyeshadow from this palette here, which is the Kali Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. Um, so I took this shade here, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty pigmented. Um, that's what it looks like there. And then I layered um, an eyeshadow from the Morphe palette. So I just took the second shade. So this is what it looks like. So I just layered those two on top of each other. I'm just going to use my finger actually. And then I'm just going to blend those two colours together. So I have just quickly applied um, mascara. So the lashes that I'm going to be using are these lashes here. They are mink lashes and I just bought these off eBay. They cost like $3 I think for the one pair. Which is pretty pricey but for mink 3D lashes um, it's pretty cheap. So this is what they look like. I just think... 
These lashes are so nice. Okay, so I'm just waiting for my lashes to go tacky. I'm going to take the Steel Art One Step Correct um, and apply this all over my face. Alright, now for foundation. I've just been obsessed with this foundation recently, so I'm just going to use this and my whitening drops, obviously. Oh my god, if I run out, I'll actually start crying. To apply, I'm just going to use this, like, flat foundation brush and then blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm also carving the top of my brows. Alright, for concealer, I'm using the same concealer as before, the Maybelline, no, the Rimmel, Perf Rimmel Match Perfection. Getting my foundation brush and just blending these two together. To bake underneath my eyes, I'm using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Going all the way up. I'm not going to keep this on for long. I'm going to set my eyebrows with my clear brow gel. Actually, I'm going to do that afterwards. Let's wipe away the make right now then. And now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Estrella's of Fresh and Flawless, just in the areas we didn't bake. So now I'm going to um, start like contouring the face. It's been my go-to like bronzer step at the moment. So I take Hula Bronzer by Benefit with my Luxie Small Contouring Brush. Chisel out my cheekbones. And then grabbing a smaller brush, contouring the sides of my nose. And then I'll just blend over it. Now I'm going to take my MAC Give Me Sun. Now I'm going to bake underneath my contour line to make it sharp. So in the meantime, I'm going to start with my lower lash line. I'm just using my Makeup Geek and Morphe eyeshadows for this. Um, I'm going to start with Makeup Geek's um, Creme Brulee and Morphe's Deep Skin, which are the two like first transition shades, transition shades we used. And then I'm going to go in with brown we used, or one of the brown. Barcelona Beach. I'm going to wipe away the bake cube. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer and highlighting my brow bone. Okay, I think I might just highlight my inner corner. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit of like this pigment here from Sports Girl. It actually has no name, so can't tell you what it is. But I'm just going to add a little bit of it from the lid. And this is just with like... No glitter glue. Um, I'm going to coat my bottom lashes with the Essence All Eyes of Me Waterproof Mascara. So now that I've done that, I'm going to be highlighting using my Laura Gala Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in um, Gilded, Hon Gilded Honey, which is amazing. And I'm using my new Morphe M501 brush. Okay, and I'm also going to be adding Glow Getter, which is from the Anastasia and Nicole um, collaboration. Oh, yeah, that's so much better. For lips, I'm just going to keep it really simple. So what I think I'm just going to do is go Kylie, um, Kylie Jenner Exposed. 
So this is the completed makeup look. If you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!